Is the, is the tickle? It, oh, it tickles. Oh, you're <laughs> tickled. I'm tickled. I'm tickled <laughs> to a to a damn shine. <laughs> hey, look, it's a little dead meme. Hey there. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Snark Tank Podcast. Today, it's another. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new dawn. It's been a long time since we've done this. Uh, I'm sick with something. I think I have you cataracts have the or flu. something. Yeah, yeah. cataracts of the, the throat. None of you are sick. I, I, I mean, was, I was sick. I was I very hope sick. I don't get sick. I'm astounded that you're not sick by now. Absolutely. Yeah, You've you just been walking around here. You've just I've been, been sneezing all over you. Hanging out with us, and you haven't been contaminated yet. I mean, could wake up tomorrow sick. Yeah, you might be dead tomorrow. Actually. Yeah. I'd... Anyway, so today you ever woke up dead? <laughs> you ever wake up dead? Well, if I die, one of you has to show up to work for me. We're we're doing this. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this. I think the last time we did this, uh, we did it with, with Derek, Derek like think, yeah. in the s- summer or something. It was a ridiculously long time ago. I'm trying to uh, pick the schedule up for 2019 because uh, things have been pretty scarce, to say the least. Mm. Uh, but to ease things, uh, to ease everything into the new year, I figured uh, it'd just be me and Sween and a friend of ours, uh, Gabby. Say hi. Hey. You got to be closer to that. You got to okay. be. Hey. Uh, speak, Gabby. Speak. I'm speaking. There you go. You're s- now you're speaking. I'm talking. So Kingston, please stop doing that. Don't do that. I will fucking kill you. There's a squirrel outside. We got some people uh, coming up. I think I, I was thinking of getting uh, Rice Pirate and like Kale Anonymous and a bunch of other people who I who I like very much. But uh, this is kind of a shoot the shit show, really. There's nothing. There's no real format to this. Uh, if there was, uh, it would be successful. Oh, uh, so somebody was asking us favorite movies of 2018. I thought that that could be a pretty good. Oh, easy. Basic. Easy. What do you mean? Who's eating Captain Alex? Stop. Favorite that's not movie. A, that's not a movie. Favorite movie. Who's eating Captain Alex? You ever saw it? It's on, um, it's on Discovery Channel. Is that, who's mm. eating Gilbert Grunt or whatever? <laughs> Gilbert Grape? <laughs> Grunt? I don't Grunt. know. That's <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Gilbert that, Grunt. <laughs> is that is that Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Yeah. I never saw it. That movie made me cry. Yeah, I what? cried. That movie actually yeah, made me I cry. Cried. Does he actually like get eaten? No, 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 no one is eaten. What's the well, No, that's, Gilbert that's Grape is like clickbait? the brother and it's like it's not clickbait. It's about like a very dysfunctional family with one very regular kid in it. Yeah. So he's, he's not eaten at all. No, he's not, but like it's his his life is eating at him. Yeah. What? <laughs> it, it, no, it's eating him inside because he has so much to worry about. Is that what the movie's about, really? That's or actually it, what it's, it's about. But it's a beautiful movie, trust me. It's a me. great film. I'm surprised you weren't going to say a, a shitty Marvel movie. Oh, no. My, uh, was Ragnarok last year? No, that was 2017. Uh, was that 20? That was 2017, right? Yeah. Oh, Black Panther was this year. Black Panther was this year. Happy Time Murders was this year. Happy oh. Time Murders. I haven't seen that movie, but goddamn, it looks not good. Worst movie of the year. I mean, I don't think so. I've seen some bad movies. We saw Slender. That was we did see Slender. Yeah, was that, that was, 2018? That was 2018. That was the beginning of 2018. I saw none, and I could not stop laughing at that movie. None's pretty good. I could not stop laughing. <sighs> I don't know. I, I feel like a genuine answer is probably Into the Spider Verse for me. Oh, I don't. Yes. I can't think of anything. I can't think one. of anything else that I really cared about. It's a good film. Should uh, watch it instead of watching Seinfeld all the time. He not doesn't watch I. Seinfeld that much, honestly. Who me? Chris. Yeah, he doesn't really watch do that. Much. It's one Joe who does so, that. One of our sociopath room, roommates does it, though. Yeah, Joe does that. He puts it on every day, and he laughs every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's never seen it before. But he has. He forgets he objectively it instantly. Has. He just relives it. I like Seinfeld and all that, but, like, holy shit. I don't understand how one individual can watch the same exact show over and over again consistently. I, mean, I can watch I do Avatar. That, it's usually for noise. Like, if I'm working on something and I just want to hear... Like, because I can't watch... A new show and work at the same yeah, time. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm very easily distracted. So I'll put on like something that I've seen a million times. Right. But uh, I can watch Avatar a lot. Like the, the show. I can okay. watch that show a lot. Before I thought I you were gonna say the movie. movie. Oh, that movie made me. That movie sucks. Honestly. You're talking about the blue people one? Yeah, the blue people one. It was just Romeo and Juliet, but there were blue people. Was it? Yeah. Same premise. Different worlds come together. You mean Pocahontas? Pocahontas is also like Romeo and Juliet. Is it? Very much so. What? What? The same premise, like they both come from different worlds and they're trying to be together, but their their like social statuses and or their cultural beliefs keep them apart. That's like the product of like a lot of those movies. I mean, I 
I guess it is. it's not the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, definitely not the first. thing I think for me I've normally drink. That's like the like it's like the where they all that archetype was the first one, and the archetype spread from there. Like oh, all of these other movies are like this too. Is That's Cinderella like that? that? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, th- yeah. I think you're really wrong. No, I'm not, bro. I d- look at the movies, bro. Dissect them. Dissect, dissect them, dissect them movies, movies, bro. Dissect them. Dissect them, bro. Bro, Jesus I love you, but I can't Christ. be with you. Oh, why can't I be with you? Because my peoples and or my family want to kill your peoples. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. We want to be together, though. We're going to be together. Is that is that the uh, the plot synopsis for Captain um, Marvel also? I Captain Marvel's going to be going up to the Kree or whatever the fuck, the Skrull. She's going to be like, I want to be with you. And Scroll's like, I don't know about that. He says that to the whole entire scroll the race. Whole, the whole scroll race. I want to be with you all. The movie looks like shit, man. It looks cool. I, I, like, I just, I'm not excited for any. We got into this discussion yesterday. I like a strong, independent woman that could shoot beams our hands. I'm That's just cool. so sick of the, like, I don't even care about necessarily that. It's, it's more so the Marvel thing in general. I was already really kind of not into, uh, what was the last Avengers one? What? Uh, Infinity, Infinity War. War. I saw it, and then I was like, oh, I like this. Everybody dies. And then the next one's happening, and Spider-Man's alive, so it's whatever. I just don't care. That's it. I just don't care. The longer the, the longer it takes to come out, the less I care. I'm more excited for Spider-Man than I am for any of the other movies. And, and I think that has more to do with the Spider-Verse being so good. That movie was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It was unnecessarily phenomenal. Good. I got a gun in my backpack, my backpack, my backpack. I'll shoot this place so, up real quick. Don't mess with me. One of the other things that happen, that's happened since we've been gone that I'm not going to cover in a video since because I just don't. Gone, Kingston, please. How can it be for the first time? <laughs> it's the worst gone. harmony of the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Is that Kelly Clarkson? I yeah. Think so. That's totally her. That song I, haven't heard, I haven't heard that song in a that long time. That song slaps, bro. That's, that shit slaps, bro. <laughs> Slap the shit out of my knee. So Trump bought like 3,000 hamburgers or something for... <laughs> <laughs> For a White House dinner for athletes. So apparently, some undefeated athletes. Do, wait, do you know more about this? I know. I don't know. That's all I know. So apparently, this undefeated team of athletes was invited to the White House, and they were like, "Oh, sure, we're going to the White House. This shit gonna be fancy as fuck." I mean, it's and a government po- shutdown. I mean, what were they expecting? I mean, it's that's not how that works exactly. Because I mean, like, the White House still has a ton of money. Probably the White House isn't gonna do anything. But like, you'd assume like, "Oh, I got invited to the White House. I'm gonna have some like." Like, think of it like this. When Barack Obama would have people over, it'd be like these wine and dine, like, amazing things. Yeah. Or most presidents. Not even Barack Obama. Just presidents in general. Yeah. So this team gets there like, oh, awesome. I can't wait to meet the president. Let's meet the president. They walk in, and it's just McDonald's meals. I would have I would have left. I would have just but like you know so what? So many. It's so it's such an impressive display of McDonald's. It's, is the thing. It's so many, and then there's like the sauces in the in the gravy trays. It's hilarious. I would have left. He he's he's standing there too, and I love it because he's like, uh, "There's 300 hamburgers, <laughs> there's many many French fries," <laughs> and I died. I died. It. I was like, "This is great. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen." I would have been really upset because I was like, "Well, I could have stayed home and done this." You couldn't have gotten 300 ham- Mc- Big Macs at home. Who actually- you couldn't have gotten a nice crispy chicken s- smoothie from Wendy's? Crispy chicken smoothie. He said. I can't hear out of my left ear. I'm sorry. That affects my words. Smooth smoothie. A smoothie. A chicken smoothie. You never had a chicken smoothie? No. What is it at Five Guys that they do? They put the bacon in the That's milkshake? That's disgusting. What? That is so gross. It's pretty good. I've never had it, but it sounds pretty not great. Yeah, it doesn't sound I, great. I agree. It's a bad sounding thing. But it's not bad. Once you get to know it, it's, it's not the worst thing. So, I saw this one story. Yes, continue. On CNN. I was curious about what you thought about it. What's up? Seeing it. Scientists say cockroach milk. Milk is in quotes. Milk is in quotes. I, I need to. Is the, scientists say cockroach milk is remarkably rich in protein, fat, and sugar. And my question to you is what? Cockroaches make milk? That's yeah, exactly what? what I thought when I first saw it. I didn't look into it because I'm not going to, I don't need to entertain myself. I only with that. thought, I thought mammals made milk and like, I think some, do reptiles make milk? Well, that's why the milk is in quotes. Yeah, milk is in quotes. That's what I'm talking about. Mammals make milk, right? But roaches make, make milk. milk. Oh, look, it's your milk, man. Would you drink roach milk? I would oh, absolutely not. not. No? What if it was, what if it looked exactly like normal milk? And it did, it, it's not like, it's not like a yellow tint to it. There's nothing gross about it other than the fact that it's roach milk. 
if I I would unknowingly drink it, I'd be like, oh, this is just milk. Yeah. But like, would you, I wouldn't would you stop willing. drinking. Would you stop drinking it after somebody told you it was milk and you realized that it tasted fine? I guess I would continue drinking because yeah, like, right? I've been doing it already. It's kind of my thing about it too. Like I remember when I was a kid, uh, and people would tell me that about hot dogs. They'd be like, you know what's in that? I'm like, no. And they would tell me it was like, ah, it's sludge. Or it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like, like <laughs> sewage and like a dead child. <laughs> or like, they would say like the most ridiculous shit was in a hot dog. And then, and then they, they would ask me if I would st- still eat it. And I'm like, it's, uh, yeah. I it's, eat the fuck out of that it's, dead it's child. Still, it's still delicious. I don't understand. Fucking devour that child. Like, I've been eating him for so long at this point anyway. It's like, like is, is stopping now really going to help? I've already eaten like my weight in hot dogs probably. I love hot dogs. Yeah. I mean, they're okay. They're, I, mean, I have to really be in the mood for a hot dog to be like. Well, you have to be in the mood right. for like a like a movie theater hot dog, like a movie theater hot dog's horrendous. But like, I think those d- the dirty water dogs in the streets of Manhattan. I've never had one. You never had a what? I've You've lived there and I've never dog? I've never had one. You've never had a street dog? No. That's Why shocking. Not? That's shocking to me. You know, there's just better food around. Yeah, but that like it's true. for like a dollar, you can get like a pretty like hefty little hot dog. A little hefty, keep you full. A little hefty dog. A hefty dog. A little hefty hot dog. It's like dog. those one dollar pizzerias that have like the Middle Eastern people in it that are like. Really oh, I rude. love those. Yeah. And then, Remember like, we went Russian to one. Union, like, yeah. Hey. We went to one on St. Mark's. Yeah, it looked like a fucking jail cell. Yeah. Well, they fixed it up though. It looks much nicer. I prefer. Now it looks like solitary confinement. Well, yeah. Now they got padded walls. Oh, that's not great. Don't make those noises. You guys saw that little circus thing, right? No, Where no, Chris no. is I'm never. I'm not getting over this. It... I'm not going over There's this. There's a circus cir- going on in Burbank right now. There's a circus. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it, by the way. I haven't seen this circus tent that you yeah. d- that you so passionately feel is unreasonable of me not to see. I can't. Be- I just can't believe you've gone your life without seeing one ever. Like a circus, that, a circus tent. Like that blows my mind. I just don't understand what's so hard to believe about that. Because especially I, when I grew up, grew up in Manhattan and like I, the surrounding area, I where a understand. circus tent isn't going to stick out. Unless you're next to it because it's surrounded by tall ass buildings. I feel like they broadcast them all the time and like they're broadcast. Just like, oh look, the Universal. Circus. I've seen commercials for like Barnum and Bailey, but I've never, I've never seen it. I've never stumbled across it. Oh, funny circus story, fellas and fellettes. You have a, you have a circus story? Yeah, I, I told you guys about well. it. Okay. No, yours is like actually like sad though. Mine is like just funny. <laughs> Okay. Like her story is like it get, doesn't have a happy ending. Oh uh, no, it has an atrocious ending. My story is like, oh, it's not a good ending, but hey, just tell it then. So when I was like six years old, they had a circus going on in Manhattan, and they were like, hey, people come down and box these kangaroos. What? <laughs> what? What? Kid, I kid, I kid you not. What kind of cir- like what? What was the what was the brand of circus? I think it was a black folk circus. So you know how they get a black folk circus. <laughs> you know how they get so. Was that like a box can- kangaroos? <laughs> like it was, I think it was the Universal Soul Circus. The Universal Soul Circus? Yeah, it was well, a where thing. Where do you get a kangaroo to box? So they brought the person down, and it was this, it was this, this hefty Caucasian gentleman. He put those gloves on. He was like, "I'm gonna handle he, this kangaroo." So he was a volunteer. Oh, he chose this. Okay. He they didn't, they didn't they didn't grab him up and bring him down there and make him fight this kangaroo. So he went down there, and the kangaroo had gloves on. And it just hit him once, and he he, he moved. Is he dead? No, nah, he got beat up, though. The king got him in a headlock and was hitting him with his little kangaroo hands. They had to break it up, and the circus stopped way earlier than it should have. I don't believe this at all. I'm not even kidding. A, a kangaroo put a, a man in a headlock? Yeah, because they have little arms. Not little. They have, like, little sizable <laughs> oh, arms. it's plausible because they have little arms? They have, they have, they have like, arms. They of don't course ha- he put him in a headlock. He has little arms. But you're probably thinking they have, like, only, only little hands. They have arms, too. No, I don't think they just have hands, like, sticking out of their nipples. What, what do you mean? <laughs> out their torso. Like, like, t- like T-Rexes? Like, torso, yeah. Like, little torso no, limbs. No, I'm aware they have ar- They're muscular. Yeah, it grabbed them up and everything. It got. They had to, like, break it up. It was really unruly. <laughs> you know they use their tails to stabilize. I always thought that was, like, a joke. You know they can kick I, over cars. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they can. I've seen that. You oh yeah, they can. They're fucking horrifying beasts. They're they're like they also give birth and then they finish it afterwards. Like they, they give finish. birth and they let it bake. They yeah, bake they it let in it there. bake externally. That's what the that's what the pouch is. It's like a little uh, exterior f- womb. Can you put like a f- human fetus in a ca- in a? It wouldn't. It wouldn't grow. It wouldn't yeah, grow. It How do would you not. Know? Because it's missing you know, a whole Kingston, who human. Are you shit all over my my hypothesis. Well, you're wrong because you're you're wrong. That's not how that works. It's not how yeah. human life works. Okay. okay, sure. You know what, man? By all means, go bake a baby in a freaking kangaroo and see what pops out. See you what emerges what? from there. You know what? I think I will. 
I think I just might go ahead and pay for that. I think kangaroos. I'll fly to Australia. I'll bake a kangaroo. I'll raise it to love me so it doesn't skewer me with its talons. They have talons, by the way. Yeah, they have talons on their feet and their hands. They have talons on their hands? Yeah, they just shave them down so they don't rip people apart when they play with they them. They shave them down? Yeah, they shave them down because they're well, you talons. Mean when they're in the circus, not a wild oh. kangaroo. Oh, yeah, not wild roos. <laughs> not well, not <laughs> wild roos. Somebody told me once that like they have rhubars on cars in Canada. That are uh, not Canada, in Australia. <laughs> you might have them in Canada. Canada is a fucking wilderness. <laughs> yeah, but there's no kangaroos <laughs> fucking hopping around in Canada. I mean, you. I would assume so, but then you go there. You ever seen a moose? Yeah. Anything's possible There was a in moose Canada. on the fucking interstate in New York once. You remember that? Yeah. No. You don't remember that? No. Moose are bigger than cars. They're are like they? they stand really tall. Like it's I'm sure they're tall. Unsettling. I'm sure they're tall. I don't think they're bigger than cars though. They're big. They're taller than cars, maybe. They're but deceptive. like I mean, so is I mean, yeah, they're probably like, I'm not. taller than some cars. They're deceptively big. Like unbelievable. like it'll if make I had, you scared. If I had a Ford Focus and I hit a moose at ninety miles an hour, would I be okay? You would not be okay, but the moose would definitely be dead. <laughs> <laughs> that moose that moose would be all over that the, that intersection. Jesus if, fucking Christ. If something gets hit at high speed and pops, I can't believe that's a real thing. No, it isn't. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? If it hits something at really high speeds or like a vehicle or like something big, it just, it just explodes. <laughs> it, goes, it goes, it goes poof. It goes <laughs> like a water balloon, I, but like with bones in it. <laughs> so, I, I, I uh, so I just re- refreshed Twitter out of curiosity. All right. <clears throat> and uh, the first thing I saw was BuzzFeed twen- trending at. With 60,000 tweets, I was like, okay, what, what happened here? Ugh. And I click it, and the top news is a mom used a vibrator to clear her baby's chest conjection, and it inspired a lot of jokes. You know, I don't like that picture. <laughs> you guys can't see it because it's an audio podcast, but I, I just don't even understand what I'm looking at with this. <laughs> you all right there? You okay. <laughs> Your actual laugh sounds like a really bad fake one, but it's genuine. It's always the most confusing thing. You sound, like a, fucking, you, okay? you sound like a cat dog character or something. <laughs> like wheezing in the corner. Yo, that's a real... <laughs> There's a real story. What made... Just like, yeah, just... what's like... Oh, I know what'll work. Let me... Let me uh... I know what always clears up my chest conjecture. I know what always fucking clears my chest. A good vibration. <laughs> a good earthquake. A good quake. A good earthquake. <laughs> a quakers. Imagine being the father and walking in and seeing that happen. I'm imagine like, what are you the, doing to my young? Not even <laughs> walking out of that. Imagine being at work and then like seeing this on the internet and being like, is that my child? <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> Did you? That's a divorce. I don't know if it's a divorce. Why would you also like share a, that? Like, I don't why know if would... it's a divorce. It's a conversation for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's but why would you also talk. be like, yeah, I'm going to share that. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, is it? Is she trying to be helpful? Did she clean it off before she put it on I the sure hope so. I would hope so. You'd hope. Give it a good boil. Oh, she You'd didn't hope, like clean it off but... on the kid's shirt or his bare. <laughs> 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 just wipe it off on a bib. <laughs> 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 All right. No, don't do that. <laughs> wipe this on his little little napkin. <clears throat> do I sound chest congested? Congested. I don't, I don't have chest congested. Uh, I can't. I can't even speak because my hearing is off. It's actually fucking with the way I pronounce words. That's crazy. This must must be this this must be what it feels like to be deaf. I know exactly what the struggle is now. You I wow. mean you don't. I think I'm fully qualified. You know you should to speak on 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 the behalf. It's not that bad, really. Um, I think I think you know, I think they're making a, a all big things to do considered. About all you know. things considered, yeah. You know. you know. Fuck those people that can't hear me say fuck you. Well, they can't hear anyways. Exactly. So fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Like What's fascinating though is them. is because I can't hear. Out of my left ear, uh, I can hear a lot of the things going on in my own head. I can hear my blood pumping sometimes. Hmm. That might be another problem. What? That might be a whole issue altogether. You've never heard your blood pumping? No. You've never been in like a, a really quiet room, like a really, really quiet room, and then just you're able to hear like shit that you really normally shouldn't be able to For hear? For me, it's always my heartbeat. That's what I hear first. I've been in uh, quiet rooms where I can hear my heartbeat. But like, it's also like, if you're in like a really quiet room, sometimes... If you turn, you can hear like yeah the movement. You can hear the movement of your own like bones scraping against the muscle that surrounds it. It's really off. Isn't that disgusting? It's really gross. It sounds like a creaky door. 
At least for yeah. me, but, that, but that, that might just be because I'm horribly unhealthy and sick and dying. But I'd imagine it's not all that dissimilar for most people. Yeah, for regular people, it's probably just a little less freaky. You should go through BuzzFeed's I don't want to do that. Tweets and see what happens. No, I don't. Yeah, want do to it, do. Chris. No, I don't I want love, to go. I love some Buzzfeeds. No, I don't want. Buzzfeed my girlfriend, is... my girlfriend, like she follows Buzzfeeds on Buzzfeeds. 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 She follows Buzzfeeds. Buzzfeeds. I can't. You see, <laughs> you see, he said it too. Buzzfeeds. I said it, but that's because I'm handicapped. Hey, man. I'm actually gonna get a, a handicap spot. Your handy capable of getting your ass beat. What? I don't know. Just is that a threat? You just threaten me, you <laughs> fucking asshole. I just like I wordplay threatened you. You wordplay threatened me. But yeah, she follows them, and she just tells me about these little articles she reads, and I'm like, man. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Are you okay? No, dude. I'm not. You crashed your fucking... Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Let's <laughs> not cra- even talk. I right, do. Oh, I felt so God. bad for you, Casey, when you told me that story. Was... Okay, so let's... It's a rough time. So, guys, I was just heading just heading to school, you know, to just, you know, just be a regular student trying to get a job out of school. And I, I just crashed. I crashed a car. Well, the car hit you. It hit me, and then the car, the car went swervy, and it was raining. I was real scared. And it wasn't even your car. And it wasn't it was my car. It was my girlfriend's car. dad that I didn't ask to take. It's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. And I was very scared because I'm dating a Mexican, and people go missing that cross them very often. Life is life has been a, a box of mysteries given to me by the Reaper of Death. I can't argue with that. Yeah. I can't argue with any of that. But at least you're not deathly ill. I was. You're not deathly ill. Come on. I'm dying, Gabby. I, I oh, understand that stop. it's, it's Gabby, fun for you to you trivialize what's Gabby, happening. Gabby, did you hear my big coughs before? No. Mm-mm. When I was whooping and wailing? No. Whooping? Oh, you're fine. <coughs> I'm not fine. Do you hear me? I just got you some nasal spray. Yeah, you and should... it, it was awful, by the way. Thank you, though. You're I appreciate gonna, it. Yeah. You're going to be set so... for 12 hours so you can breathe through your nose. I still can't hear, though. So. <laughs> you I know mean, what? I think I might just be deaf you? for good. Wait, can you hand me that? I just want to see what I got you. You, you don't know what you got me? I know. You don't know what I... Spray. I injected but it into my brain. Now you're now you're feeling all sorts of There was of one that was sinuses, which they should all be, but I guess this one is just... What is oh, it? this one's just nasal. So this is just to unclog your nose. Had I gotten you the sinus one, you could hear. I'm not going all the way back to That's fine. Ralph's. I'll, I'll go. Ralphie boys. Ralphie boys. So you saw the, Bro- uh, the Broly movie, right? Yeah, I did. Is that good? Uh, it was great, but uh, I didn't see it in theaters. What What do you mean? Where'd you see it? Well, I was just scrolling through a porn site one day, you know. As you do. As one to, does. Trying to get my yanks. Which uh, Which porn site? It was Pornhub, actually. Okay. You said it was Spank Bang. The other oh, no, yeah, it was Spank, no, it was spank yeah. Bang. Oh, so you lied. Spank Bang. Thanks no, for... I saw. I literally saw the whole thing. It's insane. But you the lied. The entire thing. But you saw it on a porn site? Yeah. What was it called? Not. Uh, it, was like, the, it was like DB something. It or... was DB's A, and it had a bunch of numbers. And I was like, oh, watch this. So you got distracted and just watched like a movie and then fell because, asleep? No, because I saw it. I was like, what is this? And it was like 137 minutes. And I was like, that's a long hentai. I can't just be a hentai. <laughs> <laughs> so I clicked on it and I was like, oh, it's the Dragon Ball Z movie. Some guy fucking recorded the whole thing. Oh, so it was a cam. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very, oh, very, really? very well put together, though. Like amazing quality. There was no one in front of him. So like it was just him. <laughs> Like, perfect, like, good camera. He snuck a really good camera in there. He's, he snuck a red in there. Right, good. He I'm shot proud out of red. him, honestly. That's, that's not, that's no it's, easy a good, it's a good movie, man. Yeah, you that's not easy to it. do. I was going to see it tonight, but, like, I can't hear, so. It's a good Dragon Ball Z movie. Like if you See the closed caption uh, screening. See the deaf version? <laughs> Get the Braille version of it. The Braille version <laughs> of the movie? Oh, this Just is feel just, the screen? This is it's like, sick. It's like 3D, but it's, it's like, it, it beeps in Morse code. That's insane. That's For what the, they need to deaf people. Yeah. I guess so. It would just be loud, actually. Or it would just be people. loud like, subtitles. Whoa! I can't. I can't comprehend <laughs> Braille. Whoa! I, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't comprehend Braille at all. I mean, it's, it's wild, but it's like, like, I, like, cause I, I put my hand over a bunch of those bumps, and I can't make heads or tails of it. I don't. I, I just. This. It just feels like ah, it's okay. It's a bunch of metal bubbles. I learned halfway Braille because of Pokemon when I was halfway younger. Halfway Braille. Yeah, like I learned Braille a little bit because of Pokemon when I was younger. Was that the one where he goes to to get the unknown? The, re- the, the Reggies. Oh, what the, the Reggies. Fuck? Yeah, to catch all the Reggies, you need to use Braille. To catch Reggies, you catch. Yeah, that's right. Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, and Reggie Steel. Ah, mm. uh, Reggie. Did you play like Ruby it's or Ruby Sapphire? Sapphire yeah. No, I'm not a. I'm not a dweeb. Oh, I was no. too busy getting laid. <laughs> getting pussy Yeah, yeah when you 12. were like 11. You fucking misfit. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> you fucking misfit. You get told that by a bunch of kids in wheelchairs. <laughs> Being bullied by kids in wheelchairs has got to be pretty rough. 
I was thinking about like when I was bullied today. Like I was at work and I just started thinking about when I used to get bullied in Catholic school. Yeah, you got that bullied was in Catholic school. Oh yeah, they're, oh, well, they're yeah. terrible. They're oh, terrible. I got bullied in Catholic oh, school too. I got bullied. There was this one girl. Like she pinned me to like a uh, okay, this is gonna be like really the fence, bad. and she like dug her like thumb nail into like my like scar on my forehead, and like the. Uh, I don't know, we had, like, a bunch of women standing around who are, like, the lunch monitors. And they would watch this happen, and no one did anything. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. It sounds like Catholic school, though. Yeah. I remember I, when I, I was a kid I, in Catholic school. There was school. a lot of, kids had a lot of pent-up I remember anger. when I was a kid in Catholic school, these girls who were, like, five grades above me, like, grabbed me by my tie and, like, like lynched did me, basically. Did you have basically. a clip on? Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> fucking lynched me right in front of the body of Christ. I was, look, I was looking directly into a, a, Help me. a crucifix. <laughs> help me. And Jesus was looking at, down at me like, oh, no. I I'm a little be... tied up right now. Can't help you. <laughs> yeah, Catholic school was so hard. I'm a little busy. Just because I was always bullied. He falls off the cross and like, I remember, starts like, clawing and clawing out of like a fucking gremlin. Dude, I remember like not wanting to go to school because a girl told me she would like she was going to punch me. Really? And, uh, just, just, oh, yeah, she was just too, like, don't go to school. school. I will hit you. And I was like, okay, uh. I'm not going to come to school. Got it. Yeah, got it. loud and clear. Understood. Yeah, You're the boss. I'm not coming in. But uh, I, somehow, like, someone got wind of this. And uh, like you do, you put the uh, the victim and the bully in the same room, and they, they talk it out. Oh, yeah. So uh, in front of the teacher. So I remember her saying, Gabby, I would never hit you. And then I remember us leaving, and she'd be like, I'm going to hit you so hard. The kids are pretty rough. Yeah, no. like I was bullied in the city until I started fighting people back. Basically, yeah. I have pretty much the same experience. I, ha- right. I was bullied up until... I think like eighth grade, and then like last day of eighth grade, I was like, this this kid who was just, he. I would get on the bus and he would just sit behind me and like slam my head against the backboard every fucking day. I was like, all right, I'm not gonna hit, I'm not gonna hit him because I just don't want to fucking deal. I don't want to deal with like the bureaucracy of, of it afterwards. Yeah, I don't want to. They they demasculate you yeah, after you hit somebody. It's like, just like I don't want to get called into an office and then have to explain shit and then like have to tell my parents that I, I punched a fragile fuck. I don't want to deal with that. But then, like, it was the last day of eighth grade, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to high school. What are they going to do? Say I, can't, say I can't come to school tomorrow? We're done. So he does it, and I'm like, all right, you've sealed your fate. And then we pull into the, we pull into the, the, the bus parking spot at the, beginning, at the school. The door is open. I, I stand up. I turn around, and I deck his face into the – I falcon punch his face into the window. He busts his lip, bleeds, cries, and I walk out, and I'm immediately thrown into the principal's office. Immediately. It wasn't like, a, oh, everybody clapped. <laughs> None of that. It was just like, what'd you do? <laughs> like, he was the fucking victim. Chris, what'd you do, Chris? It was so fucked up. And then they put me in the principal's office, and I was like, and they were like, what happened? And I was like, I punched him because I was annoyed. But I, ne- I never got bothered after that, ever. That for, kid, I don't know what happened to him. I think he's dead, probably. For me, inner city kids are like, they're really, they're terrible. Inner city kids are monsters. Yeah. They are, they're demons. And like, if you don't fight back, they'll keep pushing you. So like, I used to, I lived in a Grand Concourse, and I would go to like, like, it was a school called 339 or Diana Sands, and you have to go by Tremont Park. So some kid would bully me every time. He would, like, throw stuff at me every single time I'd walk past. And my old cousin would be like, hey, do you want me to go fuck him up? And I was like, nah, Eric, don't beat him up. And he nah, kept Eric. doing it. He kept doing it, and he was like, Kingston, if you don't hit him, I'm going to beat the shit out of you right here in front of him. So then he will beat you up more. So I happily took off my little Power Rangers backpack <laughs> and just proceeded to dog that kid. <laughs> never bothered me again that was the last time i got bullied until i moved upstate but i was like you're a new place and i had to fight again because you know yeah and I then never, yeah you just have to keep doing it whenever you're new you have to sort of like hey i'm not gonna take this and you have to hurt people unfortunately or some you can people, threaten them some enough people need to be hit it's, honestly it's like, some hard people oh yeah for sure hit. it's really hard man I, they do it's really hard to not like it's really 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 difficult to just like talk people down from bothering you. Sometimes you really have to put your hands on them. Yeah, and it sucks. Eh. But that's everyone's story. I, mean, I felt pretty great. It feels I pretty good. Pro- I never had a problem with that after. I had a problem because I think I think after that I, I realized oh I can just beat these people up <laughs> and I never I never worried I about it. I hated it. I never I never had a problem. I never I and I never bad. really I never got into any fights or anything. I'm sure like kids would like bully me without like not to my face. They'd probably like say shit. Oh yeah, but, for like, sure. At that point, I'm like eh, I, don't, so, I don't really care enough. I was going Xbox to call somebody the N word. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing too. I feel like I benefited heavily from experiencing real life bullying on its own, and then segueing into like oh, yeah, the we had, online we, we had like we had good. It was whereas good for us. kids now have that both at the same time. I can't imagine what that's like. I would have it would have, mm. if Instagram was a thing when I was a kid. I think I would have hated being a kid. I think I would have hated it. I don't. 
I don't like Instagram that much now, honestly. Yeah, I don't yeah, like I social mean, media now as it is. I only do it because I feel like I have to. Like, yeah. especially as someone in our... Like, I, I feel like I have to exist in all these different things, and it's just one more thing I have to do during and my I day. Feel so, I feel so like it's, I should barely have it. Like, I uploaded Instagram maybe, like, a year ago, last time I uploaded something. And it was because of my girlfriend. Like, it was like, oh, I love my girlfriend. Here's a picture of me loving her. That's it. Like, I don't care about it enough. How tender. Pretty gay. I mean, yeah, I agree. I'm feeling, like, next next level dead. You'll be fine, dude. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. What? Are you, yeah, come on. I'm sweating. Like, I'm actually, like, you're sweating. sweating? Oh, no, yeah. you're, you have a fever, probably. Yeah. Nah, I don't have a fever. I like fevers. You like fevers? Yeah. What? You just like Actually, being... like, can you look at me? Yeah, your eyes are a little, uh... Not okay looking. What does that mean? I mean, like <laughs> you're, you're, you're divulging into a, a fucking. Don't luge. you see kinks in Luca's eyes? Your eyes are glossed. Yeah, What's... your eyes are very glossy, are and glossed. also like one eye is like partially closed. <laughs> you're not looking good. I'm what? Oh, one eye is actually partially closed. Uh, yeah, do you see that? What are Holy you shit! That, I've never about Chris. You're fucking dying, bro. I'm fine. Yeah, you're I'm actually just... way worse than what I thought, dude. You better get in that bed and sleep. Sick off the sick. They better quarantine you under a bus. You know why I'm sick? Because you you gave, you gave me you gave me poison. I didn't poison you. If anything, I'm just trying to help. What is this? Oxy meta Sounds like something you'd put in a car. Fast, powerful congestion relief. I I disagree with this assessment. What, what, you're breathing for colds and allergies. I'm not cold. Nor I'm very I, warm. Nor am I allergic. Nor am I. Yeah. No. 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 Hey, listen. Nor am the I point allegory. is, you can breathe out of your nose. Vaguely, yes. Well, you better stick that in your nose and squeeze it. I'm not going to do that again. I think you need another blast of it. Come I just, on. I don't need to be blasted <laughs> Second again. blast. You need Round a second two. blast. Round uh, two. I've been blasted enough. Are you guys excited for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Yes. Hell Oh, no. absolutely. I'm going to watch it, but I am not excited. I am ready for it. How could you not be excited? Yeah, Kingston, come on. Have you seen the pictures? Have you seen his thighs? Have you seen his oh, calves? Oh, those are some luscious thighs. Have you seen his calves, Kingston? Every time I look at that picture, I just feel like I'm looking at something that isn't real. They should have made it like a... Like a puppet. A puppet? Yeah, commissioned the Jim Henson uh, creature shop. You know, they should have done. Not made that movie. They should have just cast him as a person. Should have just like a guy? Like should have been a small like Mario, kid. You remember the Mario movie where they just, like, Bowser was supposed to be like a dinosaur, but he was just a man fucking Dennis spiky, Hopper? With spiky hair? It's just Dennis Hopper with, like, some fucking Hot Topic spikes in his head? That's what they should have done. Who gets the rights to these movies? Uh, It's a Sony. Who's making Sonic? Sony? Sony. Really? Yeah. They need to stop. What if it's the Spider-Verse team? I'm pretty sure it's like the same team that did Woody Woodpecker. <sighs> oh my god, we're in for such a great ride. Because I'm pretty sure that was also Sony. Maybe. I cannot believe that these things have gone unpunished. Why are you so anti-Sonic? I don't understand. Yeah, Kingston, come on. Because Sonic should never interact with the real world. I agree. But he should like, only be yeah. animated. I don't, I don't even think he should be animated. I don't even think you should be in a video game, to be honest. Sonic's oh, no. terrible. Oh, he needs to stop now. But he needs to, he needs to put him in a video Did you ever play the Sonic games? Yeah, I played a bunch of them. I, I never liked any of them. I liked Sonic and Knuckles and Adventure Battle. They were all that so... was a bad game, but like, I like it. I just... I love City Escapes, one of my favorite songs. They, but that's not the game, though. It's just the song. But it came from the game. I mean, I that's like... Far away, That's 73. one of the only really good levels in that game, though. Yeah. I mean, that's... Okay, so Sonic Adventure Danger is turning around every turn. It's a pretty good game, consi considering all of the other Sonic games. It's one of the better ones. That game is still a mess. Uh, 3D Sonic games. Like the, the 2D classic ones. They're good games. They're good games. I don't think they are. Okay. It's a game about speed, right? You're supposed to go as fast oh, as you can. Oh, stop. You're supposed to go as fast as you can. That's the whole point of Sonic. He's like, he's, you're too slow. I'm big quick. You're too slow. And he's flying across the screen. And then you hit a wall, and then you stop immediately. Because you got to evade the walls. But how are you supposed to evade? The, you, there's no time to see what's ahead of you. It's in four by three. You can't fucking see what's you, ahead of you. You if jump. You, go that fast. you jump. You duck. And you jump. Uh, jump. You better how get you know some better jump? reflexes. You jump. How do you know when to jump? When you see a wall coming. Do you? By the time the wall collides with you, you your brain is already is in the middle of sending the signal to jump. Like there's no fucking unless you've played the game multiple times. That's, tri that's a trial and error Chris, game. Chris, you know what I'm hearing? You're too slow. Yeah, you're too slow to process how to play you, this game. It's a trial and error game. You can't just rely on quick uh, quick reflexes the first time you play it. You can't I do mean, that. Some it's not people possible. are swift. Some people are swift because they've played it a bunch of times and they know it like the back of their hands. I mean, I don't really know what the back of my hand I know there's a scar on the back of my hand, right? <laughs> I can't say with 100% confidence that I know what the back of my hand looks like from memory. I looked at my left hand. I thought <laughs> I looked at my left hand, but I was thinking it was my right hand. What does that mean? Because I don't know exactly which hand has a scar on it. I'll make you uh, I'll make you some new hands. 
Yeah. If you can make me like robot hands, I'll definitely get rid of these fucking stupid ass. No, nah, she things. can make you like puppet hands. Yeah, I'll make I you some nah, puppet hands. Nah, nah. If I want them to be metal so I can choke things and not feel it. I'll make you some flat metal hands flat. out of like sheet metal. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> man, you know what? That's a start. I'll yeah. start there. I would do that. I think, uh, you know what? I think not not flat sheet metal hands, <laughs> but maybe not that specifically. But the metal hands. But I if I could, hands. like, if I could be like, you know what? I'm going to get like bionic knees. I would do that, I think. Even if there's nothing wrong with my knees, as they are. I think I would just go ahead and just like circumvent the whole issue. But if it gets really cold, it would suck though. Because you got metal in your body. I know I that, mean, like, that's a pain thing. You get big pain from it. Do you? Or big aches. Is that a thing? Yeah, actually. If How do you, you know? Have, when it gets cold. Because the metal in your body starts cooling down before your body does. But there's metal in our body anyway because there's iron in our blood. Idiot. Traces of iron in our blood, you damn there's marmoset. Traces, there's traces of blood and metal also. No, it's not. Did you not see this? This new fucking research thing? That metal bleeds? Yeah. You're lying to me. No, I'm dead serious. What the f- you don't know if I'm lying or not. No, I, could I very, can't. I could very well be. I don't believe you. Kingston, you can just easily pull up your phone. And yeah, you can easily pull up your phone and prove me wrong. Oh, I don't want. I don't, wanna you don't want to. Because I don't you don't want to be proven that. wrong. You don't want to. No, I don't, don't want to find go- out that metal bleeds. No, I don't want to Google that. And then the fact that I Googled that, and someone's like, "Are you fucking serious? How is metal bleeding us have blood?" I think you'd be. Surprised. I think there's a lot of things we don't understand. That's very true. But I'm <laughs> sure metal doesn't bleed because it doesn't have blood. <laughs> That's something that people say, by the way, to justify literally anything. There's a lot of things we don't understand. Yeah. Which is why I... I like, where the I, fuck did I, I, dolphins come from? What? what the fuck is that? I think we understand where dolphins come from. What do you mean, where did dolphins come from? That's not one of the mysteries of life. That's where did dolphins come from? That's definitely one of those questions. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? Like, what's I wrong think there with... are weirder creatures out there. Than sure. dolphins? Yeah. The platypus is up there. Platypus is up there. Uh, uh, a lot of sea creatures that aren't dolphins, honestly. Yeah, like those really you... deep sea creatures, the ones that are like translucent. Yeah, dolphins are like the least weird nah, they're sea disgusting. creatures that you could... What do you, they're, they're disgusting. Dis- you could think they're disgusting, they're but they're just, not they're... the weirdest, like octopuses. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's that's definitely an old creature. You can put them creature. in a jar, and they can they know how to get out of it. A sealed jar. They know how to fix that. They know how to rectify that situation on their own without any without like looking up YouTube tutorials. I saw an octopus go up a rope. Yeah. I, I think we watched an, that video together. I saw an octopus it's not all right. grab a man and try to pull him in the water to take care of him quicker. Yeah, that's why I don't like I don't like the ocean. I don't like sea creatures. The ocean scares like me more than space. Yeah, no, I will not go on a boat. You won't go on a boat? I mean, I'll do it if I have to, but otherwise, no. I, no. Even if I had to, like, if they were like, oh, man, we're about to sink, Kingston, get on this lifeboat, I'd be like, nah, I'm going, I'm going to drown. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't trust <laughs> lifeboats. I think I agree. I'm I think I agree. Drown. I would rather go into open space than open water. For sure. I don't like space either because space, like, if I ever looked out into the darkness and just saw darkness and no light, I would break. There's always instantly. light. I mean, you'd hope that. There's stars everywhere. I mean. Like glistening. Consistently. I just don't. I don't. I'm a, I'm a monkey, you know. I'm a monkey. Yeah. And I'm just happy that I'm on Earth. I don't want to go nowhere else. Yeah, you're not supposed to be in the ocean. I don't want to go to space. Fuck space. Like, there's a reason you don't see chimpanzees, like, swimming across the fucking Atlantic. It's because they're not supposed to. You know? You know chimpanzees can't swim? Can they really not? They actually can't swim. They can't, What do you mean? They can't swim. Wh- why can we swim? Because we're smarter, and we learned how to swim. Because of the hair? I gotta be the hair, actually. I think they're just not smart enough to understand how to swim. Well, because swimmers, like, they shave their entire bodies. I mean, that makes them they get all faster. Slick and, they get all slick and rubbery. But that makes them you know, faster. You know, like a seal. <laughs> that's what they that's the principle right that they can well, glide through the water like a seal i mean that's just for speed's sake yeah for, for speed that's for the quicks but like i mean a chimpanzee is significantly hairier than a fucking person is. yes but swimming takes technique i guess yeah but dogs can Let also sort of swim right yeah there. but it's a technique to have they have a certain kind of swimming form but you can't are you can't tell me that uh like let's say there's like a the, the the most extreme hairless person that you could like a progerian person going through <laughs> going through chemo like they're swimming they're swimming through the ocean oh no they're not like actually like <laughs> I'm just I'm just using that as an example of something that's as hairless but like just like a hairless person like completely like lasered like lasered off fucking right and then you 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 put uh, I don't know like a hairy fucking like Sasquatch looking guy in the ocean. They both have the same amount of swimming experience. I'd imagine that the hairless, uh, you know, chemo yes, person. Yes, they'd be more hydrodynamic. They'd be able to move through the water easier. Hydrodynamic. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, but, Chris. That's why chimpanzees, chimpanzees can't swim. Chimpanzees can't swim because they don't understand the mechanics of swimming. They could figure it out. I don't think they would. They, they know how to stab things with sticks and, like, 
they, you know, that's they don't like, know how to swim. That's, that's because a couple swimming, steps away from swimming. Swimming takes technique. It doesn't really. It very much so does. Now, because I don't know how to swim, and I can swim just fine. It You understand the method that put one arm in front of the other and then pull the water through. No, like, I don't know how that works. How do you, where are you? I just, You're I go in the water. Chimp. I go in the water and I just know, you know, it's just something kicks into my, my, my ape brain, you know, <laughs> my medulla starts spinning. <laughs> and then I'm like, and I'm gliding through the ocean. You like know a, what? We should buy a bunch of apes and teach them how to swim. <laughs> buy, buy an a, ape? You can go to <laughs> Ralph's Ralph and Petco? purchase a... I thought Petco sold wild animals when I was really small. I did. I thought that too when I, I was, was a like, child. What the fuck? Can I get a bear from Petco? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I went to fucking little shitty Petco by Yankee Stadium and fucking honestly first day they had fucking gerbils. I was like, God damn it. They yeah. lied to me again. Pet shops are really kind of sad. Oh, yeah. yeah. We used I went to go to, a... to pet shops a lot. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> and we would just be sad. Sad. The whole time. Well, actually, I saw a very sad one. I was in a really sad one uh, in Queens. It was terrible. They had uh, they had these they had dogs in like these uh, in walls. <laughs> they had dogs in walls. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they had like uh like the acrylic uh sheets so you can see the dogs, but they were, it was like a wall of dogs. Like not cages in the walls. And uh no food or water, just paper on the ground. I couldn't work at places like that. No. I would just set them free one day. Yeah, I feel like I would be compelled to do that. Oh yeah, but I this place was terrifying. Like it they just sold these dogs in like a leash. Nothing else, just dogs and leashes. I really want a puppy. Like I really want like when I finally get my own place with my woman, I'm going to get a puppy and I'm going to name it Blaster. I, I, I wanted a chameleon for a long time, and then I found out that they just lived for like a year. Oh. Really? That sucks. Yeah. Doesn't that suck? They're so cool. You can just keep it on your shoulder, and it'll like, uh, you can walk through the streets, and, and then like a fly shoulder. will come by, and like bother you, and then it'll be like, and it'll get Thanks. the fly, and I'll be like, bud. thanks, bud. And then he'd turn around and like with his one eye, and he'd like wiggle it at me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It sounds like it'd be so cool. Like, chameleons are always so neat. They could change color and shit. I could put it on my face and wear like a mask. Ew. I mean, it's not like that, but like, yeah, yeah. No, no, not could, like that. No, Chris. I mean, you guys don't know. You don't, you've never had a chameleon, but <laughs> neither like a, have you. But I've thought about it a lot. Okay, I think mean, you so, should get it anyway. So your, mechan- I your, your, your I, idea I, of chameleons is better. Just get a chameleon my anyway. It'll be, a, it'll be a great year for you. Yeah, it would. Be, well, until it's dead, until and then I can't wear it on my face. I would love to. <laughs> you imagine, you imagine you're trying to like rob a bank and you put like a chameleon on, and it, like, <laughs> chameleon right on your face, and you tell it, Mark. And it disguises and it, and it, it, it turns into Mark. It just turns into Mark's face. Or like Daniel's face. Just that's, has these faces memorized by name. That's, you can command it to ca- camouflage. That's sick. really scary. You have like a very, very like useful teammate. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's still a chameleon though, so it's not actually big enough to cover your whole face. So it's, but people covers, are going to tell. Over so your it alters eyes. portions of your hmm. face. Yeah. So you just look confused. Yeah, that's people. Mark's mouth on, that, on, on Stan's face. <laughs> why do you have Jeremy's eyes with Robert's lips? <laughs> and also, why is why 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 is your nose, lips, and eyes extruded off of your skull? Stop asking questions and fill up the bag. Stop asking questions. Put the money in the bag. Put it in. I don't know what I would say if I were to rob a bank. I feel like I don't know. I, I don't think I have. I'd be the, like, hey, can I have that? I don't think I have the speech. I've actually down. thought it out before. You've thought it out before. Yeah. I'd walk in. I'd be like, everybody get on the ground before I make y'all motherfuckers holier than Swiss cheese. Put the money in a fucking I think they'd be, sack. I think they'd be too afraid to Oh, no, that I would shoot somebody if I was robbing a bank. Yeah, they're not paying attention to your life. You can say anything, and it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> like, everybody get on the ground before I subscribe to Sports Illustrated. <laughs> like, you could say that, and it'd be just as frightening because walk it's a in. fucking man in a, with a gun in a bank. Everybody walk in. Everybody suck my dick. <laughs> everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone. And then you start shooting. And that's it. Yeah, you, you shoot, shoot the ceiling. Shoot the ceiling. You, uh, then Dan from accounting falls through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot, falls you the, shoot ceiling. the ceiling, then a piece of tile falls on you. That's it. Yeah, and then you die. <laughs> Just a tile. <laughs> piece of tile. Boof. It's a piece of tile that falls on you, but it has asbestos on the other side of it. So now you got cancer. Oh man. <sighs> You actually have stage four brain cancer. I don't know how immediately you got, you got this really fast. You were here two days ago. <laughs> you were looking great. You were fine two days ago, and now you have stage eight cancer. That shit ain't real. Yeah, it, that's so bad that it's not even real yet. <laughs> yet? Yeah, yeah, we well, just made it because of you. Well, you know how how time works. We didn't have AIDS like 2,000 years ago, probably. I don't know, man. You know? <laughs> and now all of a sudden, hey, God's like, oh, we, they got computers. We got to kill them. <laughs> they, got, they, got, they went to space for a little bit. We got to slow them down. they keep going, they'll find where I am. Yeah. got to put these things going. down. All right, well, what, what, is this, what is the country? It's probably not even a country. It's probably like more like a tribe or like society. I don't know. There's like some tribe somewhere that like eats monkey brains. You're not supposed to do that, as far as I know. 
I what I've realized uh, is that eating brains is just like that's fucked up. I saw cow brain in, in like a AMP. I when mean, I was a kid. you can eat other like, brains, but not your not like a human brain. Yeah, because that that makes you go insane. Actually, is that real? Yeah, I think so. I think it's like the equivalent of like mad cow disease or something like that, where like it it fucks with your 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 brain. A mad man. It just it's you it, you go crazy. Madman disease. I'm madman disease. I'm angry man. I'm madman. <laughs> I'm mad man. <laughs> I'm so muffled. stuffy. I'm so fucking stuffy. It doesn't even sound like I'm saying words. <laughs> You've had the angry boy disease. Angry? What does that mean? I've just seen you yelling all day. I don't yell. You scream. I'm the quietest person in this apartment. That's actually true. Yeah. Like That's actually, actually true. Like actually. We got a noise complaint. Yeah, yesterday. We, yesterday. Because of Smash Bros. Because of Smash yeah, Bros. Yeah, you guys were getting really hyped. Yeah. It was a bit much. It was a lot. It was a bit much for a fucking Wednesday night. Yeah, it was yeah, too much for me. Yeah, we forgot it wasn't. Because no one had anything to do the next day. And we were like, oh, let's just play Smash till late. But I don't appreciate noise complaints. I don't appreciate that. C- yeah, knock no, on me the either. Door, knock on the door and tell me. Yeah, tell they called you, right? I think, I think, I think, yeah, they, the, 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 the fucking manager called me saying, we got some noise complaints. I'm like, I do, think, do fucking deal. Like, I don't like this like idea that's like, oh, I, I'm going to tell, tell mom on you. Yeah, just like, come to my tell me. house come and to tell me, me it's, you it's have the, a problem It's the idea of that. I think if you come in person, I feel like humanely, I'd be like, oh, man, this person came here themselves and they really like me to quiet down no but so I not feel like a, i would well, that's the thing because if it's somebody a human comes up to me if somebody comes up to me and they're like hey excuse me hey i'm next door you know uh it's pretty late to be doing this you know i i i'll i'll, I'll take that into consideration i'm like no yeah, I, I, I don't call me but like the second i get like a call it's like oh you got a noise complaint it's like the se- i'm immediately resentful and i don't care yeah like fuck off in fact in everyone fact, else be out. louder i'll buy your fucking apartment get the fuck out of here Everyone, I would spite. just tell that everyone to just spite. be louder. That's what I call spite, my I'll friend. I'll put your fucking parents in a home. You stay the fuck away from me. I'll buy your property, then sell it. And these kids are like fucking breaking our windows. Oh, fucking, somebody broke our fucking, fucking window. Fucking tap dancing above my room at like two in the morning. Yeah, and you don't complain. I don't give a shit because you know what? I don't care because ultimately at the end of the day, I'm going to live far longer than these people oh, because God. I have a plan What's your that plan? I won't get into. No, I want to hear this but, plan. No, he I plan- can't. He plans on acquiring immortality. I, yeah. There are things in the works. I just I don't know. This I, sounds Lovecraftian. I don't want to be involved. I just in don't anymore. like. Uh, I just don't appreciate it. No, I don't like that either. You have a problem with me? You tell me. Exactly. It's it's upfront. It's honest. It's more likely to work. It's more genuine at that moment. It's like, hey, just please quiet down. Yeah, I've like, done hey, that before. You. But yeah, like it's not. It's I don't know. I, I I've never felt the need to call management. By the way, we still have this fucking roach problem. I think probably. It, I didn't have a smoke detector installed in my apartment. Oh, yeah, you don't have a smoke detector. I do now, but, like, that's after I called, like, there the landlord, a... and I was like, hey, do I need to buy my own smoke detector? And she was like, you don't have a smoke detector? And I was like, absolutely not. I don't see one, one anywhere. You, mm-hmm. didn't bring, you didn't bring a smoke detector? What are you, a fucking dumbass? <laughs> are you stupid? <laughs> what are you dumb? But then, like, she was like, okay, we'll install it next week. I'm like, anything could happen within that week. I'm not too worried about smoke detectors. I mean, I, I know mean, not you the know, But it is super weird that your apartment doesn't have one. Yeah, it seems like, like and it didn't even it seem have. like it had a space for one. Because I remember when I saw your apartment for the first time, and I was like looking around, I was like, I was looking for that specifically because I was curious. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's no fucking, there's no slot or like plastic thing. There's nothing. For no, a smoke no, detector. they. Uh, it's one of the ones that you just have batteries and you stick it on the wall. <clears throat> I don't really feel like I need one because I know not to cause fires. But you know, you should I mean, still. I mean, it's the one, law to have one. Oh, it that, is the law. It's mandatory to have one. Yeah. Yeah, it is the law. Is it? Do we have one? Yeah. In the um, in the num, 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 the living rooms. I used to have one in my old house. And it started beeping, and then eventually I stopped hearing the beep because I ignored it so long. Do you remember those? You do that because you're a psychopath. Oh yeah, I can sleep through alarms. Yeah, but then why? Yeah, why I set know. The alarms I know then? you can sleep through then alarms. Why set the alarm? Yeah, because I, I try to wake myself up and it don't doesn't work. Don't set the alarms. Then. Yeah, don't because... set the alarm if you know you're not gonna wake up. You do that all the time, Kingston. Oh, always. Always. And oh, then and like it's some all... dude. What do you listen to in the morning? Like you know that like the music video that he watches. Oh, yeah. Like, what? Oh, it's a song. But it's like a long song that's loud. And I thought it would wake oh, me up. Oh, it's loud. But it doesn't wake me up. I, it wakes me up. Oh, I'm, a, I'm awake. I hear it. I am awake. I don't know awake. how you don't fucking hear that. Yeah, how do you not hear that? I should smash a banjo over your head every time <laughs> Every time you, like, leave that alarm. Oh, no, you know you can, you can just fucking watch me while I'm sleeping, which you did yesterday. I kind of <laughs> forgot that memory, and then I remembered it, and I was like, he was fucking staring at me while I was sleeping. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what were you? It wasn't <laughs> you yesterday. You stood over me, the... and you were looking at me while I was sleeping. And then I woke up, and I was like, can you please stop staring at me? I don't know. What and then you... you walked away, and then you did it. You were like, all right, bye. People flying against is cool to me. 
to people flying is just cool to me. It's cool. <laughs> Tom Sweeney, 2019. <laughs> like, I just like it. Profound thought. <laughs> a, prof- <laughs> a thought for the ages. A prophetic thought. People thoughts. flying is so cool to me. <laughs> prophetic ideas. Yeah. It's big ideas. See, this is, this is the true exchange of ideas. Yeah, man. We don't need debates. No, we, we just... don't need conversations. We just need to understand why people flying is I like cool. debates because, like, I like when people just get angry and they start fucking arguing. It's like, I love seeing debates fall apart. That's all the, that's every debate now. Nah, I've seen a bunch of, like, good debates. I mean, I've seen debates, for, like, from the past that are pretty good. But, like, lately it just feels like... Oh, it's, it's de- online debates are dumb. Oh, yeah, they're the fucking they're stupidest. They're just the stupidest thing ever. Because they're always about opinions. They're always about opinions that, like, are just not in serious enough to debate. <laughs> Is <laughs> Ghostbusters gay? <laughs> Here's my opinion. I watched the thing where it was like, is um, is Styles from fucking Teen Wolf and like Derek Gay, and I was just like, who the fuck made this? Teen Wolf. Who's like, talking about Teen Wolf just, anymore? I was just like, who made? Is that Michael J. Fox? Teen Wolf. Yeah, the original one. The orig- yeah. yeah, that, that was, was that was before he was that was a, a superior. <laughs> before he was a Quaker Oats. Superior was shaking up the world, <laughs> man. Time to shake things up. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Kirby Enthusiasm episode with with Michael J. Fox in it? No, I haven't. It's, it's so we have to watch it. It's we so should. vindictive. I it's don't like so that. We have to uh, we have to watch that his own. Sh- Do you remember that show that he had a couple years ago? Like his own, like the Michael J. Fox show. I think that was oh yeah, that was a long while ago. That though. was a long while ago. Oh, yeah, it didn't last long. Oh no, I think it was only one season. It. But we have to. I liked we it. have to sit. You did. I, you saw it. Yeah, I like. It. I remember watching it when I was younger. Oh. I mean, I, I never saw it, but I remember we would talk about it. It was advertised everywhere, Fox. all over the city. And I was like, Chris, we have to see this. I really want to do like That a... show was old. That show was like very old. What, the Michael J. Fox show? Yeah. What like... are you talking about? It's not that old. Yeah, it's not it, that. It's it came like out 2014, when I was a... 2015 Yeah, maybe? 2014. Uh, what? You're thinking of the the show that he was on okay. uh, in like the 80s before or during like, Back to the Future? It was it was like 90s. It was like 90s. She, was it She's the Boss? What, what show I was, don't know. What show was Michael J. Fox on? It wasn't the Michael J. Fox show. You sure? It wasn't the Michael J. Fox show. Mikkel? Family Ties. Family Ties? Family Ties is what you think of. Was he at an office? Nah. You sure? Nah. <sighs> a bunch of people have already uh, messaged me saying that they'd be totally down to do it, but I still got to figure out like how I'm going to do it. But I really want to do like a, like a Curb-esque improv show with narrative us. show with like other content creators playing like caricatures of themselves. So not us, Kingston. Oh, thank God. Yeah, not necessarily ourselves. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, God. A lot of people have come up to me and they said, like, I, I posted uh, something about the idea on, like, Instagram because people were like, well, what do you think about doing it? I was like, ah, I'm thinking about doing this. Like, a bunch of people, like, reached out, like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be stoked to do that. So uh, now I've just got to figure out how to do it <laughs> because now everybody actually wants to do it. I think it'd be pretty cool. It could be a, ah, it could be a fun idea. I'm dying. I'm actually, like, straight you up. You just drank water and it hurt. That's not how, that, it, that's oh, not it how did. life works. Water hurts in general to me because it's, it's just not enjoyable. Water is... Great. Is that like actually water from the bottle, or, or did you fill this that up? This is water with the... from the bottle, but it's okay. it's it's pure. Because I know it's... that yesterday, for some reason, you filled up a water bottle with the tap water here. Yeah, what do you and, mean? Uh, why would you do that? You know the water's terrible. I'd do a filter. The filter that's here in this apartment. Yeah. Did you clean the? Did you change the filter? Yeah. Not okay. Recently. Okay. Good. Yeah. Because the last time I drank it, it was not good. Oh, oh California water isn't good. California at all. Oh, no, no, water I... is bad. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not good. Oh, I know that. I know it's bad, but. I uh, I had some of your filtered water. Oh, the filters was bad for a while too. Okay. Cause nobody changed it. I was the only person who was changing, and then I left it to see if anybody else would notice that it was like bad. I haven't drank filtered water in so long. Yeah. I did steal bottles of water from my girlfriend's house. That's reasonable. Just take them. Like go in the fridge, take three, and leave. I steal a lot of things. I've stolen cars. I've stolen apartments. From, I've actually from people stolen in medicine. Have you stolen medicine for real? Yeah. What? What do you mean? Like, what'd you steal? Like, uh, the Tylenol? One time I was like... Sudafed? No, one time, like, I had, like, I felt really bad. So I went to Walmart and just opened up a Benadryl and took it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, took a Benadryl, then, like, I, on my walk home, it started getting unruly. Like, <laughs> I started getting really tired on my walk home. <laughs> Does Benadryl put you just into a sedative? Yeah. Instantly, it dude. So it's sleepy. really bad. I don't remember. I'm way too big to be put to sleep by Benadryl, but, like, it happens way too easily for me. Benadryl, that's what they used to put down elephants. No. Yeah, you're probably right. They use rifles. <laughs> <laughs> rifles that <laughs> shoot bullets rifles of Benadryl. Shoot, yeah, b- Benadryl bullets. <laughs> and they cut their fucking tests. I'm Benadryl Bill. This is the newest character in Mario Bros. Benadryl. It's just a big Benadryl that flies across the screen. Puts Mario to fucking sleep. Sleeps him. <laughs> sleep. Little mustachioed boy. You ever saw the picture of Mario and Luigi without their mustaches? 
Yeah, it's really. It's, I it's, haven't seen that, but I don't. I don't think I want to see that. It's not a good that. image. It's awakening. It's, it's an awakening. It is. <laughs> it is <laughs> they're really gross, Mario and Luigi. As they're, like, as, are they humans? Exactly. They're humanoid. They're human like. They're like. I'd imagine they're like fleshy Muppets. You know. <laughs> Oof. I, well, there are like. Well, there's the uh, Walter. That that Muppet. Is uh, he supposed to be a person? Yeah, he's a human. He's not a human. He's a who's, fucking Muppet. Who's Walter? Well, he's he's a uh, he's the, humanoid Muppet. He's the he's just a Muppet that's a person. Which one? Walter. Walter. One of the, the two scientists? No, no, no that's Statler. St- what is it, Statler that's, and Waldo? Walter? No, is well, he although, those, those are humans. Is he the balding guy? No, that's a uh, uh, honeydew. Who, Fuck, I don't know anything about. Who the, who the, who's Walter? That's, Walter is just like one of the fucking people. He's like a people Muppet, but like Mario, like in the new game, especially in Odyssey. Yeah, he goes to New York City or New Donk City or whatever the fuck you New want to Donk. call it. It's New York, but he sta- he he walks among humans, and he's very clearly not. But he's far more agile than the regular person. He's far also. more agile. He's Durable. far more. <laughs> he's not one of them. He's excluded. What he is is not that. Yeah, he sticks out like a fucking like Mario would. He sticks out like a fat, tiny, a tiny, tiny Italian he's thing. He's, he's, ch- he's a chunky little Italian. He's fucking creature. morbidly obese, dude. He's not. He's chunky. Chunky. What, what does that mean? He's he's quite. He's a little rotund. He's a little. I'm not fat. I'm chunky. He's a little rotund, but he's like he's not obese. He's just definitely chunky. He's obese. Mario he's is obese. He's definitely Ma- not. Mario's built like a baby. <laughs> I would, I Babies would agree, are yeah. fat. Babies, Babies are notoriously fat. They're chunky. Have you ever seen a skinny baby, Kingston? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a fucking t- uh, an emaciated? I, I have. Fetus? I actually have seen skinny babies. I have never seen a skinny. I baby. don't want to see pictures a skinny of skinny baby. babies. It's really saddening. I've never seen like because well, you like, look like at a tampon it. just falling out like a skinny like line of a person like a like tube. A, <laughs> like a tuba. <laughs> Can you say stop? Stop! <laughs> stop! Oh my god! A tube. Oh my like, lord! Like just a tube. <laughs> oh, the tampon thing got me, man. Whoa. I'm just saying, like, babies are, babies are rotund. <laughs> babies are plump. They're, they're ovular. They're plump. What? They're plump. What? You're just saying obese in different ways. No. No. Obese yes. is different. No. Si. <laughs> si. <laughs> si, senor. <laughs> Where is my medicine? Somebody help. That was the first thing I learned how to say in Spanish. Really? No. I know I learned chiclet first. That was like my first time. Chiclet? Word. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, because of gum. I love gum. <laughs> but chiclet is a brand. You could have just I didn't know that. Just said gum. <laughs> I didn't know that. So somebody said, How do I say chiclet in Spanish? And then someone else told like, oh, you I was like, Oh, it's chiclet because that's what it is. No, my grandma was like, I love gum. Chick she's like, I love chiclets. And I was like, What's chiclet? Gum. I was like, Oh, really? She's like, Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. That's not That's how I learned. She was like, But that's n- all right, well, I said, what's a chiclet? And she was like, chiclets is gum. And I was like, oh, wow. And that was it. That's my first Spanish word. Okay, cool. I'm actually <clears throat> I'm actually bleeding through my nose at this point. Okay. I can You're smell the bleeding. iron. I can smell the iron. Tilt your so head back. We're going to... Tilt your head back. You'll be all right. Tilt my, tilt my head back. Just drown in my own blood. Yeah. Fill, wait until my skull overflows with my own, uh, with my own crimson, crimson liquids. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this episode of the Snark Tank Podcast. This is a bit of a shorter episode because mm-hmm. uh, we're mm-hmm. just set- settling into the new year. Uh, next time we'll have uh, uh, someone on. I don't know. Maybe Rice Pirate. Maybe Kale. Maybe uh, maybe Zach again. Who the fuck knows? Uh, but uh, we're going to try and do these a little bit more consistently. Don't expect them every week because uh, fuck that. Negative. Uh, but uh, certainly at least once a month I think is a pretty solid. That can be done. You know, that can be done. Uh, so yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Stay yeah. Tuned. Thanks for having me on, Chris. Of course. No problem, Grimace. Thank, thank you for joining us. This episode of the Snark Tank Podcast is brought to you by nothing because no one would ever pay for a sponsorship on this shit. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.